One of the most powerful women in the Democratic Party is telling all about Russian hacking, Clinton campaign money, and that moment at a Beyonce concert. Yeah, that's right, Beyonce. My Beats Andrea Borba is live in the newsroom right now. Andrea? Well, Donna Brazil said she found herself as the chair of the DNC who wasn't allowed to control spending, all while she says the Russians were releasing weapons of mass disinformation against Hillary Clinton. On stage at the Marines Memorial Theater with San Francisco Chronicle editor-in-chief Audrey Cooper, Donna Brazil broke down the 2016 election in promotion of her new book, Hacks. They corrupted our data. What you didn't know is that they got into our voter files. Brazil says when she was briefed by the FBI about the extent of Russian hacking into the Democratic National Committee, she didn't want to go back inside. So why are we going back to the DNC? They should put some yellow tape around it. I want to go to the Pentagon. Brazil says Russian hackers were inside the DNC for over a year, but she didn't find out until this moment. I was at a Beyonce concert. You know, I'm a single lady, and she was just as grooving as she wanted to be. And I'm trying to take a picture, and I'm like, what's wrong with my phone? When Brazil took over as chair of the DNC in the wake of the hack, she says she also found out about how money was being spent and by whom, courtesy of a memo from the Clinton campaign. I found no evidence that the quote-unquote primary was rigged, but what I found evidence of, which made me very upset. I found evidence that the, in addition to the standard joint fundraising agreement, there was also an addendum, a memorandum of understanding, that in exchange for relieving the DNC of its debt or helping the DNC pay off its debts, the Clinton campaign would run certain parts of the DNC. And my reaction to that was like, oh, hell. No. She also said the Democratic victories in Virginia and New Jersey on Tuesday can be replicated. So those candidates won last week, I mean this week, because we funded them, because we gave money to down-ballot races, which helped people at the top. And she's concerned that election hacking and tampering isn't done yet. And ladies and gentlemen, get ready. More is coming. Now, Brazil said voting systems and hacks must be cleaned up before the midterm elections in 2018. On the Night Beat, I'm Andrea Borba.